In this part of the course let's create the environment of the house. I'll start with the pass. Make a backfill with the stone. Take the stone asset from the Megascans library. This asset is fine. Scale the asset and fill all the space between the pass and the lawn with copies. Let's return to the problem of intersection of the grass mesh and other geometry. Here you can see that the grass mesh has gaps at the intersections. To solve it I need to change the geometry of the lawn. Open 3ds Max. The task is to lower the level of geometry at the edges of the intersection of the plane with grass. First I'll extrude the outline of the mesh. This will also help hide the visibility of the edge of the mesh. Then I lower the level of the edge of the mesh along the perimeter. I will do the same with other elements of the grass.
Now I need to export this new mesh to FBX format. File export selected. Choose a safe location and leave all default settings. Go back to Unreal Engine. Import the mesh to a folder convenient for you. Make sure you have the Generate Missing Collision feature turned off. We don't need it at this stage. Leave other import settings as default. Place a new object in the scene. Location set to zero for all coordinates. Apply material to the new mesh. Change the position of the grass mesh in height. Now I need to lower the slope of the driveway. Go back to 3ds Max. Select the outer edge of the driveway and lower its level. Now replace the geometry in the scene with the new one, just like I did with the grass. Great, now the adjoining geometry looks correct. Now let's add plants to the scene. In Megascans go to the 3D Plants tab, Garden Plants. Add plants from the spineless Yaka collection to the scene. Keep adding plants to the scene.
Now I want to fill the scene with trees. I will be using trees from the Megascans collection. Open the Epic Games Launcher. Go to the Marketplace tab. Select the Megascans category. I'll be using the European Harmbin collection. But as you can see, these assets do not support engine version 5.2. Therefore, you will have to add the assets first to the project created in the early version of the engine, and then migrate them to the current project. Install the previous version of the engine 5.1.1. Start it and create a new project. Save the project. Return to the Epic Games Launcher and add three assets to your project. Wait for the download to finish. Start the project. The assets has been successfully added to the project. Geometry, simple wind folder, contains three assets with a light wind effect. Place the three assets in the scene. Now select a few types of trees that will be needed in the project. Right click Asset Action. Migrate. This is a list of files that will be transferred. Find the project folder. Select the content folder. Click Select Folder. Transfer of assets completed, let's move on to our main project. Transfer is successful. A folder with a new asset has appeared in the content browser. Try placing a tree in the scene. Everything is working. Delete the tree. I will play the trees using the foliage tool. This is the most optimized way. Activate foliage mode. Now add the asset from the simple win folder to the list of the foliage tool. Deactivate all assets so that you can place trees pointwise. Choose the first asset and activate it. On the top panel select the single mode. Now arrange trees in the scene. Deactivate this asset and activate the next one. Keep placing trees. Switch to selection mode, so that you can edit each individual asset. Place the trees so that they do not obscure the light of the sun, but at the same time create beautiful shadows.
Environment is ready.